Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making these beautiful filled ornaments. We'll be using my top three bath soak recipes in this tutorial. I will put all three links in the comments below. There are so many reasons I love these ornaments. They are fast and easy to make. They are absolutely stunning hanging on a Christmas tree and I think they make a perfect friend or hostess gift and these are great for anyone that needs to relax or loves taking baths. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is obviously some bath soak. I'll be using in this video my top three bath soak recipes, tutorials for these recipes as well as the full recipe and all the instructions you need are on my YouTube channel and I will also link all three of those below in the comments. The first one is this lemon rose bath soak. It's filled with Epsom salts and beautiful rose petals and the combination of lemon and rose together is one of my favorites. Then I have this colorful bath soak. I love all of the different flower petals in this. This is relaxing and beautiful and I don't know how you can have a bath with this and not feel pampered. And then last but not least, I have these beautiful sparkly glittery bath salts. These are relaxing and smell so pretty and they also have beautiful little flower petals in them that add some nice pops of color. Next up, we need some ornaments. I will link the ornaments that I'm using in the comments below. These are just plastic round ornaments that you can buy at just about any craft store. I got these in a big huge pack at Michael's and I believe they were 50% off. So I think I paid $10 for that big huge container of them. Uh, these come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Keep in mind you don't want your ornaments to get too heavy. The ones I used held just over a fourth a cup of the bath soaks. Then you'll need a funnel to help us get the bath soak into our ornaments. I grabbed a spoon from my kitchen and then whatever you want to use to decorate your little ornaments. So different types of ribbon here. I've got some satin ribbon and this beautiful silk. And then I love in the craft section at most craft stores, they have little ribbon samples. And those were kind of fun to get some different types of ribbon without buying big, huge, spools of every kind. I have some tinsel and then some other fun just Christmassy uh, embellishments for it. I've also got some sprigs of greenery that I'm going to be cutting off little pieces to add to the top of the ornament. Okay, let's get started. So obviously you can use any type of bath soak you'd like. If you want to pr purchase yours pre-made, that works perfectly. If you choose to make your own bath soak, make sure that you let it dry out completely before filling your ornament. That way it won't clump together inside the ornament. With all three of my DIY recipes, make sure that after you've mixed everything together, you lay it out on a cookie sheet and let it dry either for a few hours or overnight before filling your ornament. We're going to fill our first ornament with my lemon rose bath soak. Now you can follow the directions and just use the bath soak as is. I decided it want, needed a little bit more color so I added two tablespoons of calendula petals just to add some contrast into the bath soak. Keep in mind a little goes a long way so if you do decide to add more petals don't go too crazy. Okay so once I have that stirred all together and I love the yellow and the red together I'm going to grab my funnel and then because the opening in my funnel was kind of smaller I grabbed a bamboo skewer to kind of push some of the bigger flower petals through and some of the buds through. So using my spoon I'm just going to scoop some into my funnel and I'm going to fill up my ornaments about halfway. You don't want the ornaments to get too heavy. And I found that filling them just barely over halfway was the perfect amount for these ornaments. So you can see I'm just using the bamboo skewer to kind of push those bigger pieces and bigger flower petals through. And once we have it about half filled, just put the top on and your first ornament is done. We'll be going back and embellishing the tops of these later. Then for my bath tea, I actually found that just scooping it in with a spoon worked better. There were too many of the bigger flower buds and flower petals in this to go through the funnel. So I just grabbed my spoon and just filled up the ornament that way. And once again, I filled it about halfway full. Put the top on and our second ornament is filled. This one might be my favorite, I'll be honest. I love all of the beautiful flower petals in it. 
And then the last one we're going to fill is the bath salts. So this one works really well using the funnel unless you get some bigger pieces of the salt. And I found that just by scooping it in very slowly, it worked really well getting my ornament filled. And I'm also filling this one halfway full. I loved the glitter in this one and how it looked inside of the ornament. Put the top on. And then the next thing we're going to do is to add some ribbon to embellish the top of our ornament. Now I decided to just stick with satin ribbon. I just held the ribbon up to my ornament and folded it in half, trimmed off a piece of the ribbon, and then we're going to loop it through the top of the ornament. Keep in mind, you don't want to use a really wide ribbon for this part or it won't fit through the top of the ornament. So I take my ribbon, I fold it in half, and then I push the looped part through the opening at the top of the ornament. And then I'm going to take the ends and push them through the loop I just created. And this gives me just a really pretty piece of ribbon hanging down the side of the ornament. I chose this ribbon because I wanted to pick something that was simple. I didn't want it to take away from the bath soak. And if it gets too busy, I feel like there's more focus on the ribbon than the bath soak. And the bath soak so beautiful. I wanted to stick with that. So then I'm going to grab little sprigs of my greenery and I'm just going to cut off a little piece and glue that right up at the top of my ornament between the two pieces of ribbon. So using my glue gun, and you can use any type of glue on this. Uh, if you do use a glue gun, make sure you use it on a low setting. You don't uh, want the glue to melt your ornament. And my glue gun gets hot enough that it can melt just about anything. So I use mine on my low setting. And then I'm just putting that little sprig of greenery right between the two pieces of ribbon. And you can see it just adds a little bit of sparkle and holiday festiveness to the top of your ornament. So I took some of the bigger pieces of greenery and I just cut it into little pieces. I found this was a really inexpensive and easy way to add a little bit extra to the top of the ornaments because you can get so many pieces out of one sprig of the greenery. And I chose to do different types of greenery on the tops of my three different ornaments. You can see how quickly and easily these come together. Once you've got your bath soak made, you can assemble these very fast. I think a big bowl of these on a table or in a beautiful glass jar would be really pretty for any Christmas party you are having as a little favor for all of your guests. I think these all are just so different and unique and I love that you can use it as an ornament to hang on your tree. And then you get the added bonus that there's a gorgeous pampering bath soak inside of it. So not only are these beautiful and just really easy Christmas ornaments, they're really fun gift ideas because whoever you give it to can hang it on their tree and then use it later to de-stress from the holiday season. And that's it guys. You're all set. You have these really beautiful, unique Christmas gifts that are beautiful ornaments and pampering at the same time. Once again, you can use any type of bath soak recipe in this. I do have a few others on my YouTube channel. I have a lavender bath soak and then a foot soak that's filled with all different kinds of mint and is really refreshing and great for tired feet during the holidays. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do and give this tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out some of my other DIYs on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of other fun ornament ideas as well as other gift ideas. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.